Welcome to Shaw TV studios at Prospera Place in Kelowna. This is the first in a series of chats with Valley Mayors called Ask the Mayor. And joining us today is Kelowna Mayor Colin Bazran. Welcome today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm really looking forward to this. I have to say thank you to Shaw for, for wanting to do this. I think this is a great way for uh, us local mayors to be able to get the word about, a, a, you know, about all the things happening in our community. So uh, thank you for this opportunity. Great, and we've got some questions from some viewers. We've got some questions from, from uh, our staff here. So let's start sure. with one. The first thing is, uh, what excites you about this job? You, you've been doing it now for just a little over a year, yeah. in your first term. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, what, what do you like about it? Well, uh, well, that's a pretty broad question, but uh, I love everything about it, to be honest. I love the opportunities like this to be able to get the word out about the things happening in our city. Um, you know, But I think what really drew me to the job in the first place was that there was some really exciting things happening in our community that I wanted to see continue. Continued and, and see, you know, uh, and, and we'll get more into the details, uh, I'm sure, as we get into the, the questions. But um, there was just a, some really exciting things happening in our city that I wanted to see continue and, and see through to the end. And uh, because I was on uh, council, for those who aren't aware, I was on council for the term previous. And uh, so I wanted to see continuation of the good things happening in our community, but also um, the fact that I get to help shape the future of the city that I'm born and raised in, mm -hmm. uh, that my family, the Bazran family, has a history in, uh, been here over a hundred years, one of the first families from India to settle here in the Okanagan. So uh, to now be helping shape a community that I was born and raised in, that I'm raising children in, uh, really is, is to me the most important reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Was there a particular challenge in 2015 for you as mayor? A uh, particular challenge? Well, I think the ongoing challenge for this council is uh, the continued growth in our community. Um, a report actually rather timely just came out today saying that uh, the census, census metropolitan area of Kelowna, so basically, you know, the, the regional district, if you will, mm -hmm. is one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing areas uh, in Canada. Yeah. And, uh, and so I think our job and what uh, the biggest challenge is is making sure we're managing that growth um, within our uh, official community plan, within our uh, permanent growth boundary. So making sure that growth is taking place in our community in a responsible way, um, and in particular trying to limit sprawl, um, mm -hmm. because we all know that Kelowna uh, has sprawled out over the last couple of decades, and uh, that's really created a very automobile-centric uh, community. And so it's something that we're aware of, and um, it's one of our biggest challenges, and now we're trying to find ways to combat that, get people out of their cars, living in town centers. Um, so I think our biggest ongoing challenge is just trying to deal with growth in our community and how we can do it in a responsible manner. And we have the particular challenge of uh, the Agricultural Land Reserve protecting mm -hmm. certain lands in the city. Is that, uh, does that clump together? Do you see sort of central areas clump together in this city? We, we do. So uh, it, it certainly has provided challenges, no doubt, in that um, some of our most prime agricultural property is located right geographically in the center of our community. So it's created some challenges, and I think it's part of the reason why we've seen, you know, sprawl develop. But I think it's also a unique um, challenge, or, or it's, a, it's a benefit as well, because we do have beautiful agricultural properties right in the middle of our community. So it's also part of the appeal, why people want to be in Kelowna. And, uh, and I know that this council certainly um, wants to protect agricultural land, um, while making sure, though, that, again, we, we manage growth. So you're going to start to see more cluster developments where uh, we encourage um, you know, or what we, we call mixed-use development. Yeah. And where we're really trying to encourage mixed-use development is in our town centers where services are already located, like transit, like amenities. Um, and we're, what we need now is different types of housing in those town centers because for the longest time in our community, the choice when it comes to, uh, particularly for young families, that's really where we've seen the uptake of sprawl is because people need the space to raise families. And traditionally in our community, it's either been a two-bedroom condo, which you can't raise a family in, or a, or a home in suburbia. And yeah. so what we are really trying to do is work with the development community to come up with uh, more diverse housing options so that you can raise a family in a town centre. Maybe that's a townhouse now. Mm. Maybe it's a duplex. Maybe it, so it's it's something that allows the space, to, but but also the opportunity to stay in a town center, so that then you can walk, ride your bike to work. Um, you know, you can walk and use city facilities or parks, mm -hmm. and uh, and again, it, it limits or or certainly doesn't then push everybody out to the suburban neighborhoods. Yeah. Now we know that we'll still have to create 
single family houses because not everybody will want to live in a townhouse or a condo and I can appreciate that. Yeah. Um, but giving people more choice, I think you'll see people want to stay where they can do the healthy things like walk, ride their bikes. Uh, closer to uh, where they work and where they, uh, um, you know, um, yeah, want to uh, recreate. Yeah. So you have a certain location for that? Glen, yeah, Glen, so we have a number of, yeah, we have a number of different areas. I mean, we have five town centers, so downtown mm. being one of them. Yeah. And, of course, we're seeing a lot of growth in our downtown right now, which we're quite excited about. Uh, so then we have the South Pandozi neighborhood. That's another town center in our community. Uh, then we have what, what we call um, a Midtown, uh, which would include uh, sort of your Landmark Square um, and, uh, and then your uh, Orchard Park type area. Then we have yeah. the Capri, of course, and we just, uh, and I think we're going to talk about we'll it a little bit later, that, yeah. uh, the Capri Center. Um, and, uh, and then Rutland as well yeah. uh, as, a, as a town center. And then, of course, we have our suburban neighborhoods too where also we're, where we're trying to encourage mixed use. So you're seeing, seeing more um, shopping center type development in places like Glenmore. You'll see some more in the upper mission because what that then does is instead of people having to drive into town to go shopping, uh, you know, to get their prescription drugs, whatever the case may be, they can now do that within their neighborhood, hopefully using their two feet or a bike yeah. uh, as opposed to their car. So we're, we're trying to increase mixed use in all, of our, uh, in all of our neighborhoods. And we'll get more into land use and the economy a little bit later on. And let's just talk a little bit more about your, your personal uh, evolving as a mayor. And what's it been like in, in that first year? It's been a crazy year. Uh, it's flown by. I, I can't believe how quickly it's gone. So it's it's definitely been one of the fastest years of my life. Um, how am I trying to evolve as a mayor? I, I think is it learning on the job? Oh, it definitely is learning on the job. Yeah. Absolutely. And I when I even ran for mayor, I certainly um, didn't run on the premise that I have all the answers for all the things that are, are maybe uh, you know that people aren't happy with in our community. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm certainly learning uh, in terms of how I'm evolving. Um, I started with eight new teammates, um, my, my counselors, so getting to know them personally and know how they react, um, the things they're passionate about. Uh, so just getting to know uh, my council I think is important and so I, I, that's certainly how I've evolved because obviously they're all different personalities and how you interact with the, the eight of them um, differs. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I'm involving in that capacity, how I, I deal with my, my uh, council how I deal with uh, and interact with the city staff, mm -hmm. um, and then also how I, I interact with the public. Um, you know, it, it's it's that's been a, probably the the, um, uh, the biggest um, where I where I've seen the most growth is is just mm -hmm. trying to uh, because I'm in a position where uh, everybody rightly um, and I and I thank them for it want to share their opinions, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes people do it a little bit more abrasively than yeah, others yeah, will. For sure. And, and so just how I react, and, I, and so I'm, I've certainly become more patient, um, and, and um, a lot, um, I take a lot more time to react now, whereas before if somebody were to, you know, um, potentially get me fired up over a particular comment, I'll just, yeah. uh, you know what, I, I'm learning that the reason why people share their comments with me w critically or, or positively is because they care about our city. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And, and uh, it, it's just, it, so that's, that's where I've seen growth in, in my evolution as a mayor is, is recognizing that people are coming from a good place generally, mm -hmm. that yeah. they want to see our city be better. Um, how they word their comments um, necessarily isn't always, um, uh, you know, the best. Yeah. Uh, but it, I know that it, 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 they mean it from a, you know, that they, that from, it's, it's sincere yeah. and they're, they're not trying to attack me personally. Yeah. And, uh, and so uh, that's one of the biggest things I've, I've learned over the last year is that people, a lot of people care about what's happening in the city yeah. and, um, and that I just happen to be fortunate enough to be in a position where uh, I'm the one that they want to, uh, to speak to. And, uh, and I think it's great. And, and again, why I think a show like this is, is so important because it helps me get my message out that uh, we do uh, care about what our residents have to say and we're doing our best to try and make Kelowna a great city for everybody. Yeah. Is popularity a concern for you? Do you read the polls? Do you read the papers? Um, the, or do you want to be one of those guys that can make that the tough decision that's not going to please everyone? Sure. But maybe it's the right decision. Yeah, no, I, I think that in my time on council and in my first year as mayor, I've, I've shown that uh, I'm trying to do what uh, is best for our community as a whole, uh, as is council. And that, that means that we are going to make people mad at us. Um, I know that even leading up to the election, uh, I made decisions as a counselor that uh, I lost supporters 
uh, as a result of. And so I've said it before, and I'm happy to say it publicly, that if this is my only term as mayor, so be it. Uh, I want to make sure that Kelowna is a, a better community after I'm finished. And, and so I base all my decisions on what I believe is best for the community, uh, you know, with the information that I have at the time. And if that means that I'm going to upset people, including people who I consider friends, um, unfortunately, it's, it's the, you know, it's the, the role that I'm in um, that uh, I may lose friends as a result of this, but I've chosen to be where I am today. And uh, so, I, now, that being said, do I, I read comments uh, on news stories um, and, uh, and hear what people have to say or, or read what people have to say? I do. Um, I'm human, so are, are there times when those comments are hurtful? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to do what I think is best for the city. And if that means, like I say, uh, making people mad, um, so be it. But because yeah. we can't please everybody, we simply can't. We don't have the funds to be able to please everybody. And we certainly, uh, with so many diverse um, opinions and um, ideas out there, we just can't incorporate all of them or, or plan a city trying to please everybody. Uh, we have to do, do the best we can. And uh, unfortunately, not everyone's going to be happy. All right, we'll take a short break. And uh, coming up later on, we'll get the mayor's reaction to a citizen survey, talk a little bit about transportation and, of course, the economy.